So the way X-Plane works is it takes the geometry of the aircraft, things like the size of the wings, the horsepower of the engine, the weight of the airplane, where the control surfaces are located on the wings and how much they move. And then X-Plane interacts that geometry with the air to figure out what the forces on the aircraft will be. Once X-Plane knows those forces, it can divide by the masses and moments of inertia to accelerate the aircraft and then integrate that acceleration to velocity and position until pretty soon you've got the forces on any airplane propelling it along some new vector to see what the airplane's going to do next. And that's what flying is. What we're able to do now with the hardware is run a simulator which is, is actually very close to the commercial level in terms of calculating the flight physics and it also, with the very powerful graphics cards, is on the actual visuals, so the visuals look fantastic nowadays as well. One of the primary reasons consumer level uh, computers are getting faster is that they're able to shrink everything down and the cost of that manufacturing has come down so much um, that uh, your average person at home can run a, a very sophisticated you know, flight simulator setup. There's really no concept to me of the difference between a game and a flight simulator. To me, they're both the same thing. X-Plane predicts what an aircraft will do by interacting with the air. And so when you're flying an airplane in X-Plane, it feels just like flying the real airplane. Now, do you want to call that a flight simulator? Do you want to call it a game? I don't know what you want to call it. But either way, it's like flying an airplane on your computer. Pilots take simulators seriously. Because when we are in that simulator, mentally, we almost might as well be in the real airplane. Forget. Okay.